Resources in Moodle are static elements an instructor can use to provide content to students and support learning. Detailed information on different available resources within Moodle can be found in the description of this video. The types of resources available are files, folders, labels, NC State book, page, URLs, and content from publishers like textbooks. We will cover how to add the most common resource types during this video. To begin, go to a course in Moodle and be sure that the edit mode is turned on. Go to the topic, section, or module where you would like to add a resource or activity and click on Add an Activity or Resource at the bottom of the section. In this Resource and Activity chooser, you can narrow the options to only resources. You can also favorite or star the resources you will use most often, and they will appear in your starred list. You can click on the Information icon for any resource type to learn more about it. Let's look at an example of the page resource type. Pages like this one enable you to create a resource that will reside in the Moodle course you are working in. It can display text, images, sound, video, web links, and even embedded items like videos or sound files that students can click and play within the page. I'm now going to add a page. Find the topic or section you want to add the page to and scroll to the bottom of that topic. Select Add an Activity or Resource button and any topic of your Moodle course, and then choose the page icon. Here, you will follow some procedures that exist for many Moodle resources and activities. First, type the name for the resource and or activity. Then add a description if you would like. This is an optional step. And by default, the description will not be visible to students. If you check the box below the description text box, you can then display this description to students. For example, you might type directions on how to use the resource. However, since this description will appear on the main page, it does lead to more scrolling in your course page. Now it's time to add content to the page. Note that there are different tools within the editor that can impact how the content appears to students, including text formatting, adding in linked content, adding in images, and adding a video stored in our video recording database service called Panopto, or even recording your own audio or video message directly into the page. You can embed content on a page, like in our sample. Directions for that are in the description of this video. Below the content section for a resource like this page, you will find additional settings options. Each setting can be expanded by clicking on the greater than sign or bracket to the left of that setting. You can view additional information by clicking on the help question mark icons next to various settings or by clicking on the help question mark at the bottom of any resource setting window and opening the Moodle help and documentation link. For this page demo, we will not change any of the settings. You have two options at the bottom of all resources. You can click save and display to immediately bring up the page you created or save and return to course to go back to the main course page. Once you've returned to the Moodle course, you can then find and click on a page that you created. The page or resource that you created will appear at the bottom of the topic or section that you created it in. In this case, I was working in Unit 4, so if I click on Unit 4 and scroll to the bottom of the course index, here's the demo page. I can also scroll to the bottom of the main course view to find the demo page. To easily move it to a different section within that topic, I can click in the course index and drag and drop the course page to where I actually want it to appear. You have completed part one of the Moodle overview video of resources, including how to add resources to Moodle and specifically focusing on pages resources. Many resource types function similarly to pages. 
You can continue on in this video to learn about files, folders, and URLs, or end your viewing here and start working in Moodle. Now let's add a file. Again, in our section of the course, we'll scroll to the bottom of a topic, select add an activity or resource, and then find the file option. As always, we need to title the file. This does not have to match the file that we're actually going to add. Description is optional. Then in the file picker section, I can click to find a file that I want to add, like, an, like a Word document or an accessible PDF. Once I've selected that, I can then click upload this file. And here my file will preview for me so I can see it's been added. You may want to consider the appearance setting when you're adding files because there are different ways to have them view to students, whether Moodle chooses for you or whether you choose, choose to have them open in a new window outside of Moodle or some other appearance options. Then as always, you can click save and return to course to be able to find that particular file. Once you have added any resource type, you can move it around by using the course index, finding that particular item that you added and dragging it to the section that you want it to appear in. Files are related to folders and you can add a folder in order to group files together. So let's do that. Select add an activity or resource, then choose folder. And you will notice that this looks very similar to the file picker section when we added a file. But now I'm going to be able to add multiple files that will be grouped together. So I'll do that here. When I have all the files I want to appear in my folder, I can then also decide from within the content view how I want my files to be viewed to students then save and return to course. If you have a link to a Google Doc or a website or an online article that you want students to read or view, you can add that as a URL. When I'm adding this URL, I can title it, and the title does not have to match the actual URL address that I'm going to put in the second step. In that external URL bar, I can either type or copy paste in the URL. The appearance is a little bit more important in URL than in some of the other resource types. I'll want to decide whether I want this to open in a new window outside of Moodle or just open, which is the default setting, and then replace the Moodle content. Let's look at what that looks like in two different ways. Here, I have two different URLs. This first URL is added as an open, which is the default type, which means that my video replaces, that link replaces the Moodle content. So I no longer have Moodle open in a tab. If I don't want that because I want students to be able to quickly go back and forth between Moodle and the resource that I've added for them, then I want to choose open in a new window so that the video opens in its own tab and students can go back and forth between the two pieces of content. Another key resource type is a label. These parts of this course, discover this title right here, and at the bottom, this little fireside chat announcement are all labels. You can add labels to separate units or modules. You can also add images that all will appear on the main scroll of the Moodle page. Just remember that that does add more scrolling for students. Another important feature of labels is where they appear in the course index. If I turn editing mode off, or if I choose to view this as a student, my labels do not appear in this course index. So I can't use it to jump to that particular label. They only appear in the course index when I'm in as an instructor so that I can move them around easily to different sections of my course. To add a label, we will again click on add an activity or resource, select the label option, 
And then everything I want to appear in the label goes into one box. This is one of the few options in Moodle where there's not a place to write the name plus a place to do the content. So whatever I type in this box, however large or however I decide to format it, it, that's how it will actually appear on the main scroll. And then I only have the option to save and return to course versus save and display since everything appears on the main page. Back here on our main page, I'm gonna click into again our activity and resource chooser, just to explain that the additional resources in this resource chooser are for more advanced or next level uses of Moodle. You can find information about using, for example, the NC State book or roadmap linked into the description of this video. If you have further questions about Moodle resource types, access the Moodle help documentation links in the description of this video or via the floating question mark at the bottom of the screen when using Moodle.